Hey guys, how's it going? Shways here, and today I'm bringing you some Lego Lord of the Rings. I'm also bringing you some video length because I haven't uploaded in a few days, and a lot of my videos have been shorter, and I'm more of a fan of lengthier videos, so I thought I'd bring you one over 12 minutes today. This is, I think, my longest one to date, and if you guys like the longer videos, just let me know, and when I do Halo games, I can just put Stu together or something, you know, because I probably won't mind doing these longer commentaries because I can talk for days. But anyway, this is take two because my sister came in as I was recording the last one and uh, fudged it up, ruined it, all of it. I was seven and a half minutes in and she fucked it up. But anyway, why am I bringing you Lego Lord of the Rings? Um, three reasons actually. First of all, I am a very big Lord of the Rings fan, J.R. Token fan. Uh, so I thought, so I have Lego Lord of the Rings, I thought I'd play it. Uh, I wanted to play it sometime, I thought I'd bring you guys some of that footage. Uh, also in the wake of The Hobbit movie, which I've seen a few times, I've also read the book. And lastly, uh, I'm just getting a little, a little frustrated with Halo. Uh, you know, every game, every game has those those slumps in them where you, things aren't working out the way you want them and then everything just snowballs from there and you just get so frustrated and rage quit on every game and and I, I felt like I was really press, pressuring myself into getting some some gameplay worthy of YouTube and you know I I don't like putting those pressures on myself when I'm playing video games I just like to play for fun so I thought I'd just take a step away from it for a little while and and just play something else because I'm a as a new YouTuber, uh, I, f I think that's something I need to get used to. I'm not putting that kind of pressure on myself. But anyway, um, yeah, Lego Lord of the Rings. I haven't really played much of it, but if you guys want to see more of it, uh, just let me know in the comments. I can maybe do a Let's Play out of it and do the whole thing on True Adventurer, 100% uh, completion. I think that's what the key behind it is. Uh, but this one I did not get True Adventure. I thought I'd just... Um, uh, just really kind of run through a lot of this, uh, the hobbits in the Shire here, and if I would have gotten True Adventure, you'd see me punching a lot of rocks and beating a lot of bushes, but I didn't really want to do that, I guess. So this is just a little bit of the gameplay of the beginning. Uh, I just kind of put some of it together. Just I didn't really, really do much on the editing, I guess. I just kind of slapped it all together. And um, yeah, so today, this is a longer video. And I, once again, am doing this commentary just off the cuff, out of the blue, nothing written down. So let us proceed with the next topic. Why would a 19-year-old like me start a YouTube channel at this day and age uh, when there are so many out there and I'm in college? You know, I, I, I probably don't have as much time as some people do as uh, the, more, the larger competitors have as to doing this because they do this for a living this is just a hobby that I don't have that much time to do but why did I do it um, as you know if you watched some of my earlier Far Cry video uh, I am a journalism major and I want to take that into video game reviewing so I thought I'm a what better way to beef up my resume and also do something fun that I want to do than start a YouTube channel um, a lot of the gaming media, gaming journalism is becoming videoed these days. There's a lot of stuff over gameplay like this, uh, I feel. Um, I feel like it's something that I need to do. I need to get comfortable in with just talking over a gameplay and just letting you guys know how it is and you guys let me know how it is uh, from your end. Um, I like that kind of communication like that, but uh, and I decided to just kind of grab the bull by the horns with my dream of becoming oriented in video gaming and all that and no matter how rid ridiculous it may seem like uh, becoming a YouTuber I'm, I'm going for it although odds are, are, are pretty slim that I'm gonna get the outcome that I want uh, if, I think a lot of people face that though um, but so why even bother wasting my time with this you might ask but in my opinion, I don't think it's a waste of time because this is my life and you guys might be aware with the YOLO saying, but 
I swear to God, if one person puts YOLO or you only live once in one of the comments or anything, I am just going to flip a tit and I am just going to verbally harass the shit out of you in the next video. Whoever you are, I, I swear to God, that would, that would piss me off so much. So if you want to get on my bad side, go ahead and do that. But uh, yeah, since this is only one life that you get, that you get unless you believe in reincarnation, um, this is, uh, I'm not going to discriminate against anybody, I guess. So if you, unless um, uh, you believe in reincarnation, you only, you only have one life to live. So why not go for a dream that you've always wanted? You know, it'd be kind of stupid to just let something like that just slip by. And um, I decided to actually just go for it, because why not? Um, I don't want to be sitting there when I'm 90 and wondering what could have been if I would have actually tried to go for this, this dream, you know? But uh, so yeah, I'm going for the YouTube. I'm going for YouTube stardom, maybe? Possibly, or maybe just writing video game reviews. I'm, uh, uh, whichever way the wind blows, wherever it takes my sailboat, I guess, um, for lack of better terms. So yeah, I just decided to start this, and uh, what my what my um, uh, gaming channel is going to be focused around is, um, I I like to put like as you may may have seen, it's not really about the gameplay with me. It's more about the commentary. Uh, I feel like I'm a better speaker than I am at playing games, but, and I feel like I'm a, I really want to connect with subscribers and fans and people that watch my videos. I'm a, I am going to be one of the guys that reads almost every damn comment. Like, uh, I don't know, I just feel like that's the way I would handle it if I ever did reach stardom. Um, what I see in the future if I gain popularity is I'm a, dual comms with subscribers, uh, showing subscriber videos, playing around with subscribers in games, like, just having a general good time, you know, and just, I, I feel like, uh, anyone can go for this, and if I do, if I do achieve that dream, I, I want to share it with other people, like, I don't just want to hog it for myself, uh, there's a lot of people that want to do this, um, but might not be able to, like, I'm, uh, I got everything I need. I got a microphone, I got a capture card, I got a laptop, I got an Xbox, I got games. And I got commentary, I got shit to say, shit to play. That rhymed, unintentional, but I'll take it. Um, and yeah, I just, um, I really just want to be connected with, with all these people, everyone through gaming, because I want my, my channel not to just be about gameplay and, and me just playing with my friends, or me just rambling on things about my life. I want it to be about what you guys are thinking. Uh, what What's going on in your life? Um, what games do you want to play? Because I I gladly go buy a game just to play with you guys. Um, like I said in my Far Cry video, um, if you guys see this, you have an Xbox, add me to your friends list. I have my my gamer tag on um, uh, my YouTube channel homepage, and it's Shways54, the exact same as my YouTube channel name. So if... if you want to go ahead and play some games with me? Add me. We can play some Halo. We can play Minecraft. Lego Lord of the Rings. We can play whatever the fuck you desire. Like, um, I'm just, I'm just willing to take this to the next level and, uh, and share it with everybody. And, um, with that being said, um, yeah, just kind of run through here with some Hobbit content here for you. And I thought I'd also just some, uh, just kind of compare the book the Hobbit with the movie The Hobbit, which they decided to split into three separate ones. So with that being said, I will not spoil anything. Uh, I'm going to assume that you have seen the first movie. Uh, otherwise, you know, if you haven't and you don't intend to, uh, you can keep listening. But if you haven't and you still intend to, uh, you maybe want to be a little, a little touchy on what you're listening to here. But um, uh, yeah, what I... I like the book more. I think people ultimately like books more than movies because books are open to your interpretation and they don't have those cheesy movie things in them to just kind of add to that, the cinematic value, I guess. But um, I think The Hobbit's doing pretty well with the way it sticks to the story. But there are some things that they do that I do not like. Uh, I'll speak of the things that I don't like because the things that I do like are just so numerous. So don't think I'm just sitting here ragging on The Hobbit because I don't like it because I love it. 
But one of the big issues that I feel is the fact that they they don't they they picture Bilbo, they portray him as a huge hero, and he is not. And in these next thirty seconds, there's going to be a spoiler, so mute it if you don't if you don't want to hear it. But otherwise, I'm going to keep going. I'm a Thorin is about to die to the hands of the White Orc, and to one and he's he um, uh, commands one of his his men, his uh, henchmen, to cut off his head and bring it to him, cut off Thorin's head. And all the other the other um, uh, dwarves are, are in the tree, and as Thorin's sitting there. And then who comes to the rescue? Bilbo Baggins, the little hobbit that didn't even want to come along. Like, he was late coming because he, he decided to do it at the last second. He comes and saves, saves Thorin's life and kills the goblin or orc um, uh, just in the nick of time, even though he hasn't been trained at all in what the fuck to do with the sword or any of that shit. And all of a sudden he becomes this brave hero and, and does that. And that's one thing I don't like. I'm, uh, uh, they make it a lot cheesier than it is in the books, as in, um, uh, there's just some things where they make it a little more humorous than it probably would be. It's a, it's a, and seri- it's a funnier book, a light, a more lighthearted book than Lord of the Rings, but I think they took that just a little, a notch too far, not, not like to any extreme, but just a little bit too far, and I, I think that kind of got on my nerves, but I'm gonna go see the other two, and I suggest you guys do the same, um, you know, I think... It's a great book. I suggest reading it as well, but not many people like to read. That's why you're watching this video. Watching with the eyes is just hella more stimulating, and I will agree with that. I don't. Uh, I I read to gain information. I have that thing of just wanting to learn. I think everyone has that ultimately, but um, uh, yeah, I'd much rather just sit here and watch a video. Uh, and yeah, this is pretty long commentary. I hope you guys are liking it so far, and if you do, I'll definitely bring more length your way. I like the longer videos. I post those six and five minute videos that I've been doing, but I'm, uh, yeah, there was a really long running sequence there, and I just kind of cut it out. It was uh, just monotonous. But anyway, um, uh, if you guys like the video, give it a like. If you like my videos, go ahead and subscribe. And I will bring more, bring you more content to you in the future. Um, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you later.